And when you come into the, um, to the learning center from the front door, you'll encounter a series of, of artworks. One grouping of uh, what appear to be spots or bullseyes. The theory is that, um, is that we have evolved and every living thing that's been su successful has evolved to key on eyes from its, the second it comes out of its egg or out of the, its mother's womb. And uh, without being able to focus on eyes, we would not be able to survive. Small birds are capable of recognizing that the eyes of a snake are not a good thing when you're in the rainforest. So these, these butterflies are mimicking, you know, through false eyes on their wings, they're mimicking a trait that preserves them. Because if a small bird sees this butterfly and, and says, Mom, that looks good to me, I'm going to go after it. But the butterfly moves and the, the spots on the wings provide this sort of ambiguous picture to the bird, uh, to the small bird, it will say, hey, that, that looks like something that might hurt me. I'm not going to eat it. So the false eyes are, are, are um, about that, that theory. And they're deliberately blurred, like all the other artwork, and enlarged, one, so that they're to scale for human beings, and two, um, they're blurred because I want the barcode that's on the pieces to lead you to that exact species. Incorporated in that uh, painting is a photograph, and the photograph is a, a black and white picture of the forest in which that butterfly lives. And then connected to those photographs are the DNA barcode and a picture of the actual specimen. And that allows the viewer to connect to the exact thing that that's being depicted there.